I'm Adam Saples. Now, looking at the drum on Wednesday the 20th of March. So, the host was Craig Rucastle. Now, Craig uh, was born on January 1st, 1977, and he's a radio and television comedian uh, and personality, best known as a member of the comedy team, The Chaser, and he obviously, as you know, he co-hosts The Drum on Wednesday and Thursday nights. Now, uh, it was an interesting panel in this episode, and we start, and I hope I say her name right, Bakati Puvanatharan uh, from Crikey News. She's an associate editor at Crikey News. Now, she's a strategic thinker, and she's got plenty of journalism experience. Now, she's also a highly motivated content maker in writing and on radio. So, uh, we also heard from Abu Rizi, who used to work with the Department of Immigration, uh, he's a Deputy Secretary, well the former, uh, now Deputy Secretary of the Department of Immigration, uh, and he did that between the years 1990 and 2007, where he won a Public Service Medal for his services, he's currently completing a PhD in Australia's immigration policy. We also heard from Parnell McInnes, who is a strategist and writer, she's also a business owner, uh, consultant, she specialises in uh, business-focused communications and complex ideas. Now, David Borger was the other panelist, and uh, he's the current Western Sydney Director of Sydney Business Chamber. And before being in the public eye, David worked as an urban planner and advised to the Ministry for Planning. Uh, and we also had uh, an on-screen guest. One of them uh, was Brad West, who was a socio sociology lecturer in the School of Communication and uh, he dealt with international studies and languages at the University of South Australia. Now some interesting topics discussed, obviously the federal government uh, is in there um, with the election coming up, so they talked about making some changes to the Migration Act. Now I found this interesting but you know they're thinking of bringing people into regional Australia for a certain time until they become uh, a country citizen, they have to be there for a certain number of years. Now the Turkish government also responded to the shootings in New Zealand, obviously tragic uh, scenes there. But the thing I'm going to focus on today is the third point that was talked about, and that's Taylor Harris. At the top of her game, she fought back against social media trolls. Now the importance of women's AFL has been a big talking point in Australian sport, and the part of the drums agenda this past Wednesday night was when the panel discussed a photo that had been posted on social media of the Carlton forward, Taylor Harris, kicking a goal. Now the picture was first publicised by Channel 7, but they had to remove it after some derogatory comments were made. Uh, now did they make the right call on this? I mean obviously it would have been tough for the network itself to decide what to do, uh, but Channel 7's Andy Marr came out in response of the decision to take the picture down, telling the social media trolls to grow up. Now, Taylor has been able to respond to these claims. Uh, obviously, she feels like she can make a difference because she doesn't want it to affect her family. Obviously, but she's able to do this. Not a lot of women are because of the status she has in the women's AFL. And this was another point that was brought up in the drum episode that if any other, if it happens to any other woman that's not in the public eye, they will have to suffer this in silence. They don't have the access that Taylor has to bring this to people's attention. And I thought that was certainly something interesting that was pointed out on the drum. Now, they had a special guest join them uh, to do with the Women's AFL, Tanya Posh, who's the General Manager for Inclusion and Social Policy for AFLW. Now, I thought it was quite refreshing to see her opinion uh, and to see a woman of high profile in a position like that. Now, Tanya, uh, you know, feels she had some interesting insights. I thought that it's clear that her appearance, after her appearance on the drum, uh, that we know that the AFL are looking to do things, particularly if someone does racialize a player or, you know, vilify them. If they're a member, they will be automatically revoked and the membership uh, will become non-access to them. So uh, I think the appearance by Tanya has certainly attempted to get the attention of AFL fans, particularly when it comes to women's. Now, 
In addition to the drum, commercial freelance writer Tasman Kelly states in her article, Are Men and Women Treated Equally in Sport? Now, this was published in the Huffington Post on September 19, 2016, that a recent study from the Cambridge University Press, which was released in August 2016, found that men are three times more likely to be mentioned in the media than women. That's quite remarkable. And I cannot understand this perception, and it is talked about uh, during this uh, drum episode, that men seem to have about women where it's more about their clothing and how they look rather than their athletic abilities. Now, in her article, Tasman does state this directly. Now, I'm not sure about you, but this is unacceptable, an unacceptable way to view females. And in my opinion, women's sport is just as, if not more entertaining than the men's. Now, to finish off, furthermore, I think Valerie Hansen in her article, The Inequality of Women, uh, less than men. You know, she backs up the sentiments of uh, the drum panelist. Now, Tasman Kelly's article that femininity and sexuality is more of a focus on women than, rather than their achievements on the sporting field, I think is definitely correct. But as a result of this, women's sport falls behind men's. Now, uh, a couple of things for you to think about uh, is how can we get a better perception of women? And is there, anything we can, is there anything we can do about these social media trolls and stopping social media trolls? I hope you've enjoyed my talk and I hope that I've inspired you to change your perception of women in sport. Thanks.